Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the Jackery stream. Uh, probably know who we are or what we do. Well, tonight we're going to be showing you guys a bunch of very cool products. You probably see that table set up behind me with all that product back there. And that is pretty much a bunch of their lineup. Uh, we're going to show you guys a bunch of very, very cool products that can save you time or hassle or just give you a quick little charge in a time of need. Now, I can tell you guys, we had a really windy day today in the New England area. We actually had some power outages in my actual building this morning uh, where these power stations actually came in handy uh, for a couple things. Now, before we get into these power stations, I will talk about a few things that do come with these systems. Uh, and I want to first say, hello, Phil. How are you doing? I can see you in the little chat over there, kind of. Uh, guys, with these systems, most of these systems are going to come either with a carrying pouch with a bunch of cables or it's going to come with another variation of cables like that. Uh, so you're going to get this very cool little carrying bag with, of course, their little logo off to that side with this. And that is a zipped up pouch. Inside this pouch, you're going to be greeted with a couple, couple thingies. Right there, first and foremost, you'll come with a couple different variations of wall plugs. Now, these wall plugs are going to allow you to charge these power stations off of your wall outlet if you guys need. You'll also get, of course, a cigarette lighter style plug. Uh, if you guys get one of these to charge it up on your cigarette lighters or you'll get of course some adapters So you can actually charge up some solar panels with different adapters Now of course there's a couple variations that may give you one of these bad boys And that's actually a two-in-one DC plug to extend multiple solar panels onto your station So they do give you guys that variation with this Jennifer good evening as well now, so you guys get the different variations with that, which is kind of cool that they make sure that you have all the cabling you need. Now, with the first one that we're going to be showing you guys tonight, that's going to be the Jackery Explorer 100 Plus. Now, the 100 Plus comes with a different cabling set. That's going to be the USB-C, the USB-C cable. Uh, this is going to allow for 100 watts of charging pass-through. You're also going to get, the, of course, this USB-C or USB-C to DC plug and that's going to allow you to connect up a solar panel to this power station Now with this of course, we're going to talk about the power station because it's small but mighty Now you guys may have seen it pop up a couple different times in my hand just then But this is the 100 plus 31,000 milliamp power bank 99 watt hours of power LifePo 4 cells now this is of course a device that can fit in your hand and of course, do very well for you in your hand if you need something like that. Now, this does have two USB-C ports, 100 watts max charging capability in and out style ports. You also need a USB-A port at 18 watts max. Now, this is so small it can be taken anywhere. This is good for traveling. Uh, rather it be in your backpack to go camping, uh, your backpack to go on a flight, or just in your purse or just wherever you guys need it. This little thing is mighty and quite powerful. It'll actually be fully charged in under two hours. It's about an hour and three quarters of a charge to fully charge this device. Now with it, of course, you can run a bunch of different stuff off of this, ranging from your phones, lighting, and other stuff, but they all will have to take a USB-C port or a USB-A port for that. Now I've actually tested this a few different times. I've actually charged my phone off it the other day. Uh, we were also running some Nintendo Switch and of course a portable monitor off of that. You guys can do pretty much whatever you need. If you're charging your phones, you're gonna get about six charges off of this device. Uh, and that's gonna do quite well for a lot of you to get those charges when you need as you need it. Now, as well as on top of that, you're also going to be able to charge like your iPads, your MacBook Pros, your MacBook Airs, your Apple, uh, your Apple, you know, iPads and stuff as well. Now, another cool part is, is because it is so portable, it's super light, guys. This thing is crazy light. Like, uh, this is not a problem. With it, they still have, of course, the sh you know, uh, protections built in, like your over uh, overcharging uh, short circuit protection, uh, of course, and everything else in that. Also got temperature sensors and, of course, intelligent BMS, which is your battery management system. Now, another cool thing is they thought about it. They added, of course, a class nine drop protection, and I can actually contest to the drop protection uh, because I did drop the next product in the carousel. And we'll actually talk about that in a few minutes. And hopefully I don't sneeze on camera, but mighty 
powerful little station. Now, the cool part about this one is, is guys, normally it's like $150. It's got a $50 clippable coupon tonight. So that brings us down to like $99 for this. So if you need a little power station that's going to be able to charge up your phones, tablets, or even run a small little mini cooler for a short period of time, this might be able to do that. Uh, so just make sure you actually can actually use the plugs and have the capabilities. I love this little thing. It's a beauty, beauty of a little power station. So if you're looking for something like that, I would definitely recommend that. Now, the one thing I didn't talk about is, is what the solar panel that you can use on this. You can actually use the 40 watt panel. You can use the 60 watt panel, their 80 watt panel and their 100 watt panel. All those panels can be plugged into this as long as you have this adapter plug to do that. So you're good to go. They thought about it and said, hey, why not do it? Now, I was talking about the product I dropped, and that's actually the next product in the carousel, and that's going to be the Jackery Explorer 240. Now, the Jackery Explorer 240 went through a little tumble stage today. Uh, quite scared me. I thought I broke it, but it, it survived. I, this thing dropped nine feet. It dropped nine feet. There's not even a ding, a dent, or anything on it which was lucky. I, I'm going to just say that. Now, normally I don't have stuff fall, but this one fell out of, off of a shelf that it was on. Uh, and that's because I was moving all kinds of stuff today and it fell. That means it could take a beating and keep on working. And that's kind of cool. I'll actually show you guys this. I'll turn it on. You guys can see it lights up perfectly well. Uh, it's got 94% of a charge. I did charge it after I dropped it to make sure it could still charge uh, and everything else. I love that, that it could take a fall like that and still work. Um, not what I wanted to happen, but at least it could do it. Now, I do know they say not to drop it that far, uh, but it did happen nonetheless. Now, the 240. 240 watt hours of power uh, with this power station, guys. You do have one AC outlet, 200 watts of pure sine wave connectability. That's going to allow you to plug in a bunch of cool stuff with that. Uh, it's also, of course, got two USB-A ports, 5-volt, 2.4 amp, and that DC plug right there. Uh, J-Lo, hello. How are you doing? Uh, welcome to the show. Amazon customer, thank you for the follow. And Eric, thank you. Now, some other cool things about this is, is you do have the DC plug. That's going to allow you to do the wall plug. It's going to allow you to do your cigarette lighter plug. It's also going to allow you to do a solar panel as well. Now, you also have a DC plug over here, and this DC plug is meant for like cigarette lighter style devices like your air compressors, uh, your air mattresses, uh, or other de uh, devices, maybe even like, you know, what we used to call fuzz busters, which are now called uh, car vacuums. Uh, some of the older ones use a cigarette lighter style, uh, so you have that. Now, this is a fixed handled version, has their beautiful logo, and has their cooling technology built in on the side. You guys might be able to see the fins right there for that. Now, it is an individually wrapped life post cell, so you have that. Now, charging this will take about three and a half hours on a wall plug. Uh, if you're using a cigarette lighter in your car, let's say you're going on a little road trip uh, to the beach or something. Maybe you guys have a drive, about four or five hour drive. It's going to take about five hours to fully charge this on that trip. So by the time you get to your destination, this is going to be up and charged and ready to run for whatever you're doing whether it be hiking, camping, or even just hanging out on the beach and allowing your like, stereos to charge off of in the phones. Now, another cool thing is you guys can charge it with the solar panel as well. No problems there at all. Now, using this is kind of cool because you can run a lot of cool stuff off of it. Rather it be like, let's say your gaming console. You can play a PlayStation 4 off of this. You can play your Xbox off of this. Now, you could also plug in a Nintendo Switch, and Nintendo Switch is going to be able to run for about 40 hours or so off of that plug with that. Now, they are individually switched plugs, so you hit that button, it's going to light up green, you hit it again, and it'll shut off for you. So they have that set up in this wire. Now, another cool thing is, guys, if you guys are like photographers uh, and like to charge up your batteries or even your drone batteries, you can plug in a bank like this, charge it up with no problem, and be up and ready to go in no time. Set it up, you're good to go. And that's what's going to be uh, very handy for that. Quick emergencies, quick trips. Guys, $219 for this tonight. 
great price, great product, and nonetheless, under seven pounds, so you can carry it around with no problem like I'm holding it. And it can take a drop. Um, and I've been looking all over this trying to figure out where exactly it hit the impact. And the only thing I can see is this little scuff right about there uh, is where it looks like it took the impact. Uh, other than that, everything looks good. So don't be afraid to bang it around slightly. You know, accidents happen. I'm not saying do it on purpose, but it should last. So that's actually kind of cool. I like that. Uh, so the 240, great, great option. Now, we're also going to show you, I believe, the 300 up next. Now, the 300 is a just step up from the 240, but still a great little power station. I uh, actually have this one right behind me. This one's got a $50 clippable coupon tonight. It's normally $350. It's already, it's already down 30%, so it's like $279. Plus another $50 off. You guys getting it at a great price, almost like a steal of a price. Let's just go there. Now, with this, $300 is a beautiful piece 293 watt hours of power has two ac outlets those ac outlets are going to allow for 300 watts of pure sine wave connectability now i'm trying not to sneeze but i'm going to say this i used this today uh during my power outage so if you guys look there's no charge left i need to charge this even though there's no charge that display does come on so there's still enough battery in there to turn the display on just not enough to charge anything else with that. Now, has three uh, USB ports, two USB A's, one USB C. That USB C port is a 60 watt in and out port. You also have that DC input port and a DC output. Now, on this one, they actually added a rubberized cork to go over that DC output for you. Still has that nice, beautiful fixed handle and, of course, that beautiful logo. If you guys want, serial numbers are on the back, guys. So if you guys need the serial numbers to, of course, register for the warranties and stuff like that, or just to send information, they're back there for you. Now, they all have, of course, rubberized padding on the bottom. These are silicone pads to help set on whatever you guys are going to set it on with that. Charge time on this one's going to be about three and a half hours on a wall plug. Uh, two hours if you use dual charge mode. That's going to be the USB-C and a wall plug. Three and a half hours in a car outlet or four and a half hours with the solar panel solar saga 100 now another really cool part is is guys this is going to allow you to do like the last one over 40 hours of play time with the nintendo switch uh, if you guys want to use like let's say a five watt light bulb you can do that as well it's going to allow you to run it for a good amount of time no issues no problems uh drones cameras of course uh other electronics like CPAP machines and other devices can be ran off of this. It's another nice and mighty little piece that's hand powered, of course. Uh, just, you know, power in your hand. Let's go there. A uh, really, really cool one. So if you guys need right there, $50 off of this one of the 300. Great little option for you with that. Now, if I can get my hand back. We're going to move up to, I believe, the bigger brother. This is going to be the 500. Now, the 500 is actually on the table behind us. Normally, I just go, hey, let's pop over here and you guys can see this. Now, what you guys are probably not noticing is, is there's actually a little piece back there that if I hit play, hopefully, uh, let's see if we can get it to go. Uh, maybe not. Well. I guess the little thing quit. I will actually power that back on in a few. We have a turntable back there. The turntables actually was up and running. But this is the 500. Now, the 500 does weigh a little bit more. And we're going to pop back, of course, to this scene. Well, that is not the scene. It's this scene. This weighs a little over 13 pounds. Now, this has got, uh, it's like $4.99 tonight. But there's a $150 clippable coupon. 518 watt hours of power. One AC outlet plug, that's going to do 500 watts of pure sine wave power. Now, 110 volts, of course, that's going to be your standard American plug with that. Uh, one sec, everybody. <coughs> uh, I guess my microphone did not mute. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with my software, but I tried to mute that. Uh, and, of course, it delayed mutes on me. Now, with it. You have three USB-A ports, 5 volt, 2.4 amps. You have a DC plug. That's going to be your output, 12 volt, 10 amp. You also have two round DC output ports and a DC input port. 
Again, has, of course, a display. That display is going to show you guys the charge rate on here. So it's going to show you guys your input and output power. Still has that beautiful fixed handle and, of course, their beautiful logo. Now, the one thing that this has that some of the others don't have is that beautiful little flashlight on the side. Now, the flashlight can come on and off. Or it can go in SOS pattern. Has, of course, a larger individual light post cells in this. Also has that cool larger in air inlet for cooling it. Now it has the silicone pads on the bottom like you'd expect uh, with that. Now charge time is going to change on this because it is bigger. About five and a half hours on a wall plug. Uh, five and a half hours on a cigarette car lighter. Seven and a half hours with a single solar panel. And you can do that. Uh, Runtime, of course, is going to change for the stuff you can do. Uh, since you, let's say, the, the 200 and the 240, uh, you're pretty much doubling the power of that. So you should be able to run your Nintendo Switch for approximately 70 to 75 hours off of this device. Or your CPAP machine most of the night so you can get a good sleep. Uh, the end of, of course, if you want to run, let's say, your 15-watt little ice chest or ice coolers that you take to the beach or camping, about nine hours of runtime off of that. You can even run that big flat screen TV behind me uh, for about seven hours off of this. Uh, so you have that. It has that class nine drop protection and of course has the intelligent BMSs as well built in. Now with this, it's got seven ports, very versatile and easy to use. Uh, you could run more stuff. Let's say like your air compressor tire pumps, right? Eight hours of runtime with that. So you can do eight hours of runtime, no problem. Uh, if you want to run it, uh, let's power outage. So let's go back to that power outage thought. Power's out. It's windy like it is in New England and you're cold. Plug in an electric blanket into this and have it run for about four hours or until your power comes on. Most times your power will come on before the, you know, that four hour range. So you should be good with that to keep nice and warm. That's even good for the elderly. You know, elderly need to, are always cold. I know I am and I'm elderly. Uh, just saying. Uh, so keeping warm is a good thing. Three and a half hours, four hours of runtime on an electric blanket, stay nice and toasty. That's a no-brainer for me. And again, guys, under 14 pounds, so it's like 13 and a, 13 and a quarter pounds. You could carry this with no problem. Uh, get into the soil car. Uh, you got the 200 or the 2000? Uh, because I don't do they make it? I don't think they have 200. It's like 240. Um, which one did you get, Chris? Yeah, so you definitely were taken for your camp. I do agree with that. Uh, depending on the song. Oh, yeah, the 240. So that would be... You got this one. This one right here. Uh, this is actually a good one. It'll actually do some uh, decent stuff for that. Uh, if ranging from, like, charging your phones or your lights and stuff like that. It's definitely not going to run your electric cooktops for a long period of time, but it should do enough for you uh, with that. And it's kind of cool. And the best part is, is with these, you can plug a solar panel into it. It can charge while being ran. So you can use the ports while it's charging at the same time. It does allow for in and out charging. Uh, so you're good there with that. Yeah, it's a, it's a decent one. It really is. And if you missed the little story about it, it actually dropped about nine feet earlier and it survived. So it did take a little like uh, beating. Uh, yeah, that's actually, yeah, that's perfect. Uh, even the 500 actually has a light on it. So the 500 does have a flashlight, but yeah, really that, that'll do really well for that. Not a problem with that one. So if you guys need the 500 guys, of course, there is a clippable coupon on the 500 tonight, so it's like $150 off. So can't go wrong with that. Now we have the 1000. Now the 1000, of course, is the big brother, and this is going to be more of a non-entry level system. I like to call the smaller ones entry level systems because not a lot of people have the space for the bigger ones or they're timid to know what it can actually do. So they go for the smaller ones, and that's why I call those entry level. Now we're going to jump over to the 1000 and then we're going to actually move scenes to this and we're going to move over to, I believe, that one up there. Now the 1000, of course, is up top and that's going to actually do some amazing things with this. Um, so we're going to go into that. We're going to actually say, you know, one sec. 
I do you guys we're gonna do this so 1000 this is a, over a thousand watts of power so a thousand and two watt hours of power with this three AC outlets at a thousand watts of pure sine wave power but this one's gonna do a couple things first and foremost it's got two USB-C ports and two USB-A ports right here also has a 12 volt 10 amp cigarette lighter plug on there as well on top of that now you do have a couple of different input ports you got your standard round DC plug or you got of course what I like to call almost alligator clip style that's going to be for your solar panel grid still has the display where you'd expect and of course individually switches to turn on the plug as you go now just like the 500 this one actually has a light on the side so you do have the light over here and if you hold it down and go to SOS pattern for you uh, so it does work with that of course now it has of course the silicone pads on the bottom and that fixed handle for you now the really cool part about it is of course uh, you're going to be able to do a bunch of stuff with this one uh, that the others probably couldn't do and that's actually uh, you know <laughs> the youngsters nice one Phil how dare you call me a youngster <laughs> Now, charging the 1000 is going to take you a little longer, though. My voice is fading? Really? Um, my voice shouldn't be fading. One second. Thanks for telling me, though. It's probably updates, man. We had a whole bunch of updates. Yeah, we had updates and power outages, so there's some wonky stuff. Probably. Five hours wall plug, fully charged. You're good to go. Uh, if you want to use a cigarette car lighter or in your RV when you're cross-country tripping, about 11 and a half hours. Uh, six hours with two solar panels, you're good to go. Now, this one will allow you to run a lot of different stuff with that 1,002 watt hours of power, like uh, 13 hours on your mini cooler uh, or other devices. Now, still has the Class 9 drop protection, has, of course, the individually uh, protections that you would expect, like the BMSs. If you want to run, let's say, your standard flashlight or your 5-watt light bulb, about 65 hours of runtime with that. Now, your flat screen TV, and yes, you can do a flat screen TV off this or even a projector. Uh, you're going to get about 9 hours of runtime with that. Now, if it's your 100-watt projector, of course, uh, you're going to get about the same, 9 hours of runtime, and you can have a movie night wherever you need. Your electric heating blanket, about 11 hours of runtime as well. Now, if you wanted to, and you guys are a big coffee person, you could run your coffee maker or your cappuccino machine for approximately 88 minutes off of this power station. Uh, so you can do that with that with no problem. And that's actually a really, uh, really cool piece right there, which is just amazing to do. The one thing I'll tell you is, is uh, for those people, when power is out, some people have problems. Maybe you have an elderly person that needs an oxygen machine or they can't sleep without a CPAP machine or something like that. You should be able to get a full night's sleep with no problem whatsoever on that. Um, right on. I'm glad to hear you enjoy it. Yeah, I'm actually having fun with these. So I've been doing a lot of different stuff. Uh, it's been quite rainy the past week, so I was expecting to take them up to the shop, uh, connecting them up to some chop saws and stuff at some point, uh, and that probably is going to have to wait for a day or so. Uh, Pat, how are you doing? Good morning. Now, of course, guys, with this, it does weigh a little bit. That's 22 pounds of weight, so you do have a little bit of weight right there. Uh, just for you to know. So the weight is going to depend on a lot of stuff with that. Uh, the 1000 is a great option, very easily usable and accessible with it as everything you need in the range. Now, of course, that is actually a limited time deal tonight, guys. It's like 63% off tonight. It's normally $1,000. It's 639 I think, they have for you. So that's actually a good price point for that one. Uh, so if you're looking for that, definitely check that one out. Now, we also have the 1500 up next. If I drop down to, let's see here. That is not what I'm looking for. That is what I'm looking for right there. Now, the 1500 is actually on this table. You're probably wondering where, and I'm probably wondering if I have them backwards tonight. I probably do, but we're just going to range in, and we're going to zoom on over. So, well, that's not zooming properly. That, of course, is the 1500. Now, this is 1,512 watt hours of power. Uh, this one's going to be able to run, let's say, your window AC. No problem. 
Uh, it's also going to be able to run your kitchen refrigerator or even your stove. Uh, it does have the power to run those things with this. Now, what I'm going to arrange with this is these ones actually change because these ones have handles that can actually fold up and move around. So you do have the handle that does fold up and can be put in place for you. Now with this, of course, you do have a, still have the flashlight, but the flashlight's different than the others. Uh, it's going to be on this side. And you're going to have a double, double, couple different ranges of brightnesses, but it's also going to do, of course, SOS pattern with that. Now with this one, it changes into the newer screen style, so it's a higher contrast of a style screen. You guys can see that orange ring with the 77% charge. Also shows you guys the input and output with this. Now what this actually has is actually two USB-C ports and 100 watts charging capability in and out with that. It also has two USB-A ports at 18 watts max charging capable. Now that means you'll have the range from your cell phones or even up to your power hungry MacBook, uh, MacBooks to be able to charge with that. Now with this you have three AC outlets at 1800 watts of pure sine wave connectability. That means you'll be able to run your 1150 watt or your 10,000 uh, BTU window AC off of this plug without an issue. And that's kind of cool. Now it still has, of course, the 12 volt 10 amp cigarette lighter plug with this. Uh, this one's going to weigh you a little more. It's about 37 pounds, so it does weigh with this. Uh, now with this one, there's a $700 clippable coupon for it. So it's going to bring you down to about $999, I think it is. Uh, that's actually a real good steal of a deal for that one. Uh, great price point with this. Now, fully charging this device, it's going to take about two hours uh, with that on a wall plug. So you can have a fully charged on a wall plug with no problem. Oh, yep, yep, Lois pointed, pointed it out too. Hey, thank you, Lois. Uh, if, if you guys don't know, Lois is actually part of the Jackery team. Uh, so if you guys have questions, she is definitely here as well. Now, wall plug, two hours, you're good to go. Uh, car outlet, if you guys want to plug this in on an RV trip, maybe you're going from, let's say, California to uh, the Grand Canyon, or maybe you're going from Seattle, Washington, down to the Redwoods. It's going to allow you to fully charge it on the cigarette lighter in about 16 hours, and it's probably going to take you that to get to those destinations. Uh, so you should be good there. If you want to know, there's dual voltage uh, monitoring systems built in. Those dual voltage monitoring systems actually monitor the battery system to keep make sure that they're, they're over, overheating uh, while charging, and that's kind of cool. Now, it also has eight temperature sensors. It's also got, of course, 30% uh, improved heat disposition with their cooling fans. It's also got that intelligent BMS, which is your intelligent battery management system for those individually wrapped life post cells. Now, it is a double stack of those cells inside here, uh, which is kind of cool. Runtime, though, if you guys want to know, we can get into that. We can talk about some run times. Let's say you want to run that 65-inch flat screen TV. About 60-watt TV is what it ranges, so you're going to be able to run about 17 and a half hours with that. Uh, your microwave oven, those are power-hungry, guys. Uh, about 70 minutes or so runtime. If you're just getting this to charge your phones, 63 charges on your iPhone 14s is what you're going to get uh, for this off of this device. Now, what I will tell you, though, is, is they do have a separate plug uh, that does connect up jumper cables to this. So you can actually jumpstart your cars with these if you have that plug. Uh, that's kind of cool. Now, that 5-watt light bulb, it's like your standard LED 5-watt light bulb, 115 hours of runtime with that. And that's actually kind of cool. Now, if you guys really want to take it and use it with, like, let's say your hand saws, your table uh, table grinders, or your angle grinders, your weed whackers, your leaf blowers, your pole saws, and stuff like that, any of those are going to range from about 100 minutes all the way up to about three hours, depending on the wattage. Uh, most of those are going to run from around 400 to 800 watts. Uh, your weed whacker, of course, is going to be about 1,100 watts with that. Now, I said this does 1,800 watts of pure sine wave power. Yes, it can peak over that. I don't recommend peaking over that, but it can peak over that to 3,600 watts. Now, if you're using 3,600 watts, you're not going to get a long run time with that. I'm just telling you that now. It will not happen. Uh, so you hate to say that. 
So great little piece, awesome little option. It's going to work out well for you guys. It's going to do what you need when you need. I definitely recommend that. $700 off is a really, really great deal for that. But I do recommend if you're getting that, you should probably grab some solar panels to do that. It's always better not to have to charge and pay for that electricity. Now, we're going to move over, of course, to the 2000 Pro. Now, the 2000 Pro is actually on the opposite side of the table. Um, that's going to be this. Well, we'll zoom out slightly for you and try to zoom down. That's going to be the 2000 Pro. Now, same body. It's the same body as, of course, the 1500 Pro. Now, this is a full kit tonight that we're showing you guys. So this 2000 Pro comes with two solar panels. Uh, it's got a $1,000 clippable coupon. Uh, normally $3,600. It's already 17% off tonight, so it's like $2,999. But there's a $1,000 clippable coupon, so you're going to get it for $1,999. means you're going to get that power station and, of course, two Jackery Explorer or Jackery Solar Saga 200 panels. Now, that's a large, large panel that's going to do well for you guys. Now, this, of course, does have those three AC outlets. That's going to do, of course, uh, a very good range of power for you, over 2,200 watts of pure sine wave power with this station. Now, it still has that nice high contrast display, has that fit handle, and, of course, the LED lighting like the 1500. Now, it does weigh a little bit more. It's approximately about 38 pounds or so with this one, of course, as well on top of that. So do know it weighs actually... The whole package is going to be about 62 pounds, but that's the weight of the solar panels and the station. So do know that this piece alone is it weighs a bit, guys. So it's not that light of a piece. Now, eight ports of usability, two USB A's, two USB C's, 18 watts and 100 watts, of course, capability. You also have that cigarette lighter plug on there. This is going to allow you to run your 1100 watt window AC for about two hours of runtime. Uh, that means you can get the place cool when it's hot and then be good to go. It's also going to allow you to run your 520 watt refrigerator for over three and a quarter hours, almost three and a half hours of runtime. That means you can get that food nice and cold again when it starts getting slightly warmer uh, and then you're good to go. If you're using it to, let's say, use it on a hot plate, maybe you guys are out camping or you want to run your hot plate in your RV or something. About 40, 48 minutes of runtime with that hot plates. Again, like a microwave, takes a lot of power to run uh, those four burners. Uh, electric grill, those are going to be a little bit easier, about an hour or so with that. That means you can plug in your smoker, your cookers, and stuff like that off of this. Uh, it does have, of course, that lighting on there, and of course, two solar panels. Now, the solar panels, I can kind of give you a glimpse of the solar panel because I do have... The 200 back here. Now, I'm not going to unfold it, but this, of course, is the Jackery Explorer 200 solar panel. This solar panel does, of course, have a zippered ETFE panel all the way around. Uh, it is fully waterproof, has a clasp that locks up, and there is, of course, a, a pocket inside that has the cabling with this. So you're going to get the same carrying case for both of the panels that comes with the 2000 Pro uh, in that sale tonight. So Really great little thing. Uh, we'll actually probably try and show that live a little later uh, with that because, I mean, it does weigh quite a bit for that panel. So any questions, guys, always feel free to ask. We are definitely here to answer. And again, like I said, they do offer a cabling, like extender cables for your solar panels. They also offer, I believe it's called the Jackery 12-volt automobile uh, lead acid battery charging cable, which means you can plug in and charge charge or jump start your car uh, it's more for charging it uh but you know it's going to give you enough power probably to start i do recommend just charging it though that's kind of cool that they have that so any questions please ask now we're going to move over to their largest standalone system now what do i mean by their largest standalone system that means we're going to be talking about the 3000 pro now standalone system is a great great idea that's those two big stations on the bottom. Now, of course, that one is blocked by uh, this little piece right here. Let's come back here real quick. Uh, because we have a turntable sitting here. And the turntable, of course, uh, kind of stopped. I'm not sure why, but hey, it's still stopped. Now, this is kind of cool for this power station, guys. This has got something a little different than the other ones you had, of course. You have five AC outlets. Each one of those AC outlets is going to allow you to do 3,000 watts of pure sine wave connectability with that. 
that means you're going to be able to plug in a large power hungry device. You have the two USB C ports, two USB A ports, and of course that DC plug over here. That DC plug is meant for like your cigarette lighting devices. Now, with this one, of course, you have that nice display. Of course, it's going to show about 23%. Uh, 23 it's going to show that we have this LED light running off of it. And it's taking about 16 hours left of runtime off of this, of course, at 23 watts of power. Now, individually switched on and off plug switch. Now, this has handles on the side and, of course, can do some things. Now, the station alone, going to say it now, that power station alone weighs 64 pounds. It's a heavy power station. Uh, it's not, not that small. Uh, so guys, do know it has some weight. Now, this full kit comes with solar panels, so it's a full-on kit. Normally, it's like $4,000, but there's a $1,100 clippable coupon for this power station tonight. So it's going to save you a few bucks. Now, of course, this is kind of cool. The 3000 Pro is 3,024 watt hours of power. Uh, it's going to be able to fully charge in under two and a half hours on a wall plug. Has, of course, the intelligent BMSs, which is your battery management system. Has that class nine drop protection. But this one's got something that you guys may not have seen uh, in the others. We're actually going to stop that. We're going to show you guys some images. It works with an app. So this does work with an app. Uh, the app is accessible on Android. And, of course, it's accessible on your iOS devices. Uh, and that's kind of cool that it can run with an app. So you can turn on all the switches on and off with that. Now, another cool part is, is you guys are going to see that it looks almost like a suitcase style design. So with that, of course, right there, uh, you can actually uh, have it with the wheels. It's got nice, large three inch wheels that's going to allow you to roll it around with that, of course. Uh, it has, of course, a telescopic handle. That handle, of course, is going to allow you to do what you need in there in a clutch. And I kind of like that you can do that. Uh, so you have what you need as you need, and it's going to do some cool stuff. The handle is, of course, fully aluminum. Uh, they came in clutch. Yeah, see, exactly. Like like uh, Lucia says, they come in handy in the outages, which is kind of cool. I like that it's got wheels on this one, and you can actually roll this around. Now, of course, right here, you're going to notice some run times. About three hours on your window AC. Uh, ranging from, depending on what style of fridge you're going to have, all the way up to about 72 hours. Now, 72 hours is going to be like your 15-watt little ice box that you're taking to the beach for the day or your camping trip. Uh, anything bigger than that, of course, you're going to have to do the math uh, on hand. Now, that 3-watt to 5-watt light bulb is going to range about 200 to 220 hours of runtime uh, with that, of course. Now, with it, we can actually say that, hey, it's powerful. It does quite a bit, and it can run. Now, like I said, that charge time is going to come in handy because it's literally under two and a half hours charge. You're up and running. Now, with this device, though, you're going to be able to run even more stuff. Let's say your space heater. If you have a power outage, you're cold, and you want to get warm. Six hours of runtime on a space heater. Now, those space heaters are about 350 watts. Uh, your microwave, about two and a quarter hours. That's normally microwaves are about 1,000 to 1,100 watts of power. So you have that. If you have six of those solar panels, about, I think it's three and a half hours fully charged. If it comes with two of them, if you want to get four more, you have that charging time there. You want to do a movie night. Let's say you guys want to take the projector out. Maybe you guys got like a... Uh, a short throw projector kind of like this. Uh, let me show you guys. Uh, right here. The X300 from uh, Nomadic. This is a 100 watt projector. You're going to get about 21 hours of runtime off of this projector, off of that power station. That means you guys will be able to run as many movies as you want out back at night or during the day, depending on how bright that uh, projector is, and have fun with that. Now, the cool part about that means is you guys can also pair up a Bluetooth connected speaker or other devices into this and run it all off of this power station. No problem whatsoever. Now, if you guys are out camping and stuff, of course, you're going to get about 101 charges on your iPhones, uh, your drones, your camera gear and everything else in between. I've actually ran this on quite a bit of different things like window ACs through streams before for you guys and everything else with that. 
Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you for the lurk over there. Oh, hi, Sheila. How are you doing? I missed Sheila popping. So you guys can, the bigger power station is going to be able to do a lot more for you. It's going to allow you to run a lot more stuff. It's a great, great option for that, of course, uh, if you guys need just a really cool piece. I love it. Comes with two solar panels, large panels. Uh, it's going to do well for you. And of course, again, $1,100 clippable coupon saves you some money. Now, I believe we're going to be moving over to the 300 plus. Now, the 300 plus is what I had on the carousel. Uh, unfortunately, not sure why the carousel quit, but hey, we'll get to that at a different time. This is the 300 plus. This is a portable device. This device does work with the app. So you can power this from the app. That means you can turn on your switches from the app or turn them off. Now, he does have, of course, one AC outlet, 300 watts uh, connectability right here. Now, this is going to do some stuff because it is a cool little piece. The 300 plus is going to do about 288 watt hours of power with that. Now, that means you're going to be able to run your Nintendo Switches, other devices through that one AC outlet. But you have, of course, two USB-C ports. Uh, those, of course, are going to be a little different now. Of course, they're 100 watts max in and out with one of the ports. The other is just an out port. The USB-A port is different, though, because it's a 15-watt port. Now, you also have the lighting over here. So if I turn on, of course, the device, I'll have to hold it down, turn it on. And I actually grab this lighting switch. Uh, we'll see if I can get the light to come on today. Of course, my finger does not want to fit in the hole, but there you guys go. Uh, you get the light on. Of course, you can turn it on and off. has, of course, that handle with it that you can carry it around, no problem. Uh, so you have the handle. Now... This is going to use like your uh, your computer style of plug uh, to charge it. You'll be able to charge this in a good amount of time. So that means you'll have this fully charged in under an hour and a half on a wall plug. If you're using just the USB-C port, about two and a half to two and three quarters of an hour, uh, it's going to be charged. If you're using the car cigarette lighter, about four and a half hours with that. And that's kind of cool. Now, you can use solar panels, of course. We'll talk about the solar panels in a minute. Now, run times, though, let's get into it. 40 hours on your Nintendo Switch. Uh, if you're using the house fan, let's say your tower fan, about four and a half hours. Your phones, 13 charges, that's all it's on here. But that's a good amount of charges. Most people don't need that. Now, it still has a Class 9 drop protection and everything else in between. This is a great product. Now, this product, of course, is a smoking, smoking product that works well and is, of course, very portable. Now, we also have this product and the solar panel uh, kit. Now, we're going to get into that because the solar panel is really cool that comes in this kit like this. That's going to be this little notebook style of solar panel. This thing can fit in your backpack. It's that small. Now, you're probably like, well, how can it get a lot of charge? Well, that's because, well, let's be honest. When it comes back out, it's actually not that small. It folds out four times. Uh, it's considered a tri-fold, but it is quad panel. Now, it is, of course, monocrystal and solar cells with this, uh, and it's going to be able to work in the water in harsh and wet weather. This is waterproof solar panel. Now, it does have, of course, a, metal, a magnetic clasp that just latches over with that. Now, I do recommend every time you guys use the solar panels, do tie these down with the eye ringlets uh, because they are literally kites. A wind will hit this and they're going to sail. I don't care how heavy they are. A wind will lift this up like a like an airplane wing and it's going to try and fly away. So do tie them down. You guys don't want to have the damage of these uh, with that. Uh, of course, it's got their beautiful little logo. So both of those are really cool. Awesome options with that. Uh, an amazing product nonetheless. Honestly, this is a really cool little panel. I like the little 40. Now, the cool point about this is it's going to allow you to charge this station uh, with this solar panel in about seven hours. So with this little panel, you can actually charge the 300 plus in about seven hours. That means on your hiking trip, your camping trip and everything else, leave this charging during the day. You have it fully charged and you're ready to go again uh, at night. So that's a cool piece. I like that. Love that little mini pen. Back to the boxes. What? What boxes? What are you talking about, Sheila? <laughs> I don't want to go to the boxes. No, don't want to go. 
Okay, you guys. Now we're going to be moving into the range of their modular systems. Now, the modular systems are really cool. We're going to start this off with the 1000 Plus. Now, since it is a Plus series, it does work with the app, of course. No problem whatsoever. Now, if I jump over here, you guys are going to notice, well, hey, there's a 1000 Plus in the wild over here. I just have to jump up. Now, that's actually going to be that power station right in the middle. Now, this is going to be 1264 watt hours of power. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to get up and kind of show you guys. So, three AC outlets, guys, 2000 watts of pure sine wave connectability with this. Two USB C ports, two USB A ports, and of course, that light that's built in. Of course, you do have to turn it on to actually run that light. Uh, but you have multi mode light that's going to go brighter, and of course, SOS pattern has, of course, a covered with that. That is actually a cool piece. Has the handles like the other ones, but it also has that 12 volt 10 amp DC plug. Now, right here, of course, it's going to be flashing the Wi Fi and Bluetooth signal. That is how you're going to know you can pair it up to the app. Now, let's get into this. This is a really cool little station because it can do a lot. There's a $100 culpable coupon on just the station alone. Now, charging this, it's going to take under two hours. Or I think it's like two hours to fully charge the station alone by itself on a wall plug. And that's actually a good deal of time. I actually think it's all like um, under two hours, like an hour and a qu three quarters. Uh, so definitely under two hours. Car outlet. You can have it charged in about seven hours in a car outlet, no problem. If you have multiple solar panels, uh, let's say you have four of the Solar Saga 100 panels, it's going to be about four and a half hours charged and running. Now with this, of course, you're going to be able to run different ranges of items from it with the multi-ports uh, without an issue, but let's kind of get into it. You're going to be able to run your window AC off of this if you really, really want. So yes, you can run this with the window AC, no problem. Uh, you can have it running without an issue. It's not a problem. Be able to charge, I think, multiple seller. Uh, let's go there. Since it is, of course, over 1,264 watt hours of power, you can run your 1,150 watt window AC, your 10,000 BTU in the seat, about an hour. Your 500 watt fridge, most fridges range about 500 to 520 watts. So you're going to get about two hours of runtime on that fridge. That's going to be decent enough for a lot of people. Your, you can run anything and everything else with this, but it is an expandable kit. Now, not only, um, hello, how are you doing? Good evening. I do see you over there. I do apologize. I'm multi-streaming today. Now, that was just the solar panel or the solar station. It does have a $100 clippable coupon. Uh, we also have the option of this station with the solar panels. Uh, and that's going to be the Jack Reeks uh, 1000 Plus Plus two Solar Saga 100 panels. This kit's like $1,700, but it does come with a $200 clippable coupon, which is a great deal. So you can actually get the station and the solar charging capabilities with the solar panels. Now, what I do want to talk about is, of course, the expandability with this kit. Now, that's where we're getting into it because it is an expandable kit. This kit is modular. That means you can add batteries to it. So you can actually get the station with, of course, the one battery. Now, this kit with the one battery is normally $2,000 with this $200 clippable coupon tonight. That means you're going to go from the 1,200 watts of uh, power to 2,528 watt hours of power. That means you just doubled all of your runtime just like that. Now, this kit, like I said, normally $200, but there is a $200 clippable coupon. Cool thing about this station is, is you can actually add three batteries all the way up to five kilowatts of our power. That should be able to enough to run your house for a good amount of time with no problem. Now, the run times, of course, since you could run 1100 watt window AC for about an hour off of this, that means you with the one battery about two hours of runtime or more or more or more. You just start adding it up two hours on a leaf blower. Of course, leaf blowers do take a lot to run. Uh, multiple hours with the angle grinders and everything in between. You just have to do the math with it. It's a great, great kit. I do recommend it. It's a highly, highly recommended piece. Now, we also have the full kit tonight for you guys besides the battery. So we have the battery, the station, and, of course, the solar panels. This kit is like $2,400. 
with the $300 clipable coupon brings it down, of course, to $2,100 or $2,099. That means you're going to get the station, the battery, which is right next to it. And I'm actually going to show you guys the battery because the battery is kind of cool. That is the battery up there. I know it's a little bit dark, so I'll actually grab it. So this is the battery. Now the battery is kind of cool. So normally we don't bring the batteries up here because, well, I mean, they weigh a little bit. Here is your battery that goes with this kit. It does have, of course, a display on here. Let's not drop it tonight. So the display, of course, lights up, and I'll show you guys the charge. It has a handle to carry it. it has silicone pads to hold it. And, of course, on the back, it's going to have your connectability of the cable. So you do have to connect it up through a jumper cable. Now you have an A and B. So you're going to go from A off the power station to B off of this and then A off of this to the battery and so on for the three batteries paired up total. Now, this does weigh a little bit, but it's an easily accessible piece. Now, the cabling, of course, is going to range looking like this. This is your power cable that is going to jump that battery to that power station. So that is what you're going to use to do this. So it's a nice cable, of course, nice large style, and of course does have locking locks. So it does lock in. You'll have to push down to unlock it to pull the cable out. Simple little piece. Every battery comes with one of these, so you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to get that extra. Uh, again, $300 off the full kit with the battery, the station, and two solar panels. That's going to be a good one. It's a very accessible one, still very accessible and carryable. I think uh, total weight for everything is like almost 65 and a half pounds or so. Uh, so do know it does weigh a little bit though with that. So you have a little bit of weight, but you can carry it around no problem. Now to their largest modular system, this is the, uh, you know, their biggest and bad boy system. This is going to be the 2000 plus. Now the 2000 plus is going to do a bunch of very, very cool stuff. First and foremost, it looks like the 3000 Pro. Still works with the app, and I'm actually going to show you guys the app before we go any further. So with that, of course, this is going to be kind of cool. Uh, let's see if I can get the app to pop up. So here, of course, is the Jackery Explorer app right there. And, of course, it's saying I must log in. Now, that's not a problem. I can definitely log in without an issue. Maybe I can. Or maybe I can't log in tonight. Well. Anybody else want to log in for me tonight? There we go. So once you're logged in, of course, right here, you can actually use the app. You guys notice I have the 700 plus and, of course, the 3000 Pro. Uh, up there is a plus symbol. You'll click that plus symbol, and of course, you'll say, oh, well, we got lights flashing. We can hit the icon, and it's going to start flashing, and then it's going to ring up a list of uh, products that's going to show up there, uh, depending on if you have the product on when it's scanning. Now, once you're in here, of course, let's say this 3000 Pro is, of course, the 2000 Plus. Right there, you guys will see the charge left and, of course, the temperature that it is running at. You'll also see the plugs down there, of course, with the ports. Now, if I want to, I can hit that port and it'll shut off the little device just by pressing it right over there. Uh, the same with the opposite side with that. That means if I forgot to shut something off while I'm away from, let's say, homestead, house, camping, or anything in between, you guys notice the lights went out, I can hit it from the app and I'm good to go. Let's say I'm getting ready to go home and I want to get that little cool or cool going uh, with that, turn that little app on, and of course, it's back up and running inside the app. That simple, that easy. Now, the 2000 Plus, of course, is 2042 watt hours of power. Now, that little station, of course, is right down, of course, over here, opposite side of the table. And you guys have noticed that there is a big battery sitting on top of it. Now, you have that five plugs. You have four standard AC plugs, 3000 watts of pure sine wave connectability through those. You also have that fifth one. That fifth one's going to allow you to plug in, let's say, your TIG or MIG welders or your old school house dryers or even your old school uh, kitchen stoves. Uh, so you're going to be able to do that. Now, you'll also be able to plug in, let's say, your EV style car plug chargers 
uh, can plug into that. That's the style of plugs those are. Uh, Gina, hello, how are you doing? Good evening. Now you do have, of course, that 12 volt 10 amp DC cigarette lighter plug down there. You also have, of course, the two USB-A ports at 18 watts max charging capability and your two USB-C ports at 100 watts max charging capability. Now with this one, guys, two hours fully charged on a wall outlet, no problem, you're good to go. Now, cigarette lighter, of course, is gonna take a little longer, about 25 hours. This has got a $330 clippable coupon on this power station today. Now with this, you could run 1150 watt window AC, of course, for about um, under two hours. Your CPAP machines, that's right, your CPAP machines could run about 150 hours off of this device. Your 520 watt refrigerator, about three and a quarter hours. Your 1100 watt, or about 10,000 watt, or 1050 watt microwaves. I think it's about an hour and a half with that one. I don't, the range of a microwave is really weird in the runtime because those microwaves do spike power. Uh, so they do change with those ones. Uh, so do know that. Now, of course, we can get into some other stuff with it, but we also have the full kit with this one, guys. So we do have multiple options inside this. Now, if you guys want it with the solar panels, of course, that's going to be about normally like $3,300. There's a $600 clippable coupon. Comes with two solar saga, pan uh, two solar saga 200 watt panels. Now, we also have the station and the battery on sale, of course, tonight, too. Uh, normally like $3,800. There's a $700 clippable coupon with that. Now we're going to jump to the last, uh, last little kit, right? This is going to be the full kit and we'll get more in depth into this. Because this is a modular system, you can connect up to five batteries to the station. Now on top of that, you can pair it up with the second power station and add five more batteries and you can have a lot of power. So just the station and five batteries alone, that's going to be 12 kilowatts of our power. Uh, if you have the second station and 10 batteries total, 24 kilowatts of power. That means you can literally run your homestead no problem whatsoever off of this. Now this kit with the battery, the station, and two solar panels, normally $5,000. I think there's a $1,000 clip we'll keep on this tonight. That means you're going to have, of course, over uh, 4,085 watt hours of power with this kit, two solar panels, and everything you can need on that that's a great deal an amazing piece right there now we talked about it we're gonna get into it and we're gonna go into the solar panels so we're gonna start off with the Jackery Explorers uh, the Saga 100 the Saga 100 is of course right here this is a really really cool little power uh, solar panel now it does have of course uh, tripod legs that do come out they are velcroed on there are, of course, an ETFE laminated handle and, of course, fully waterproof and water resistant. On the back side, you're going to have this little pocket. Inside this pocket, of course, is going to have the cabling to connect it. Now, you do have a nice nine-foot cable. The cable does, have, of course, have an adapter, so it does have the two different styles for the two different styles of solar panels. Now, also on this, you're going to find this little orange pocket right here that's going to allow you to plug in the USB-A or a USB-C port right there to charge devices straight off of this as you need. Now, still fully monocrystalline solar cells with this and has the ringlets. This actually pops out and you guys are going to see how much light you can grab off of my lighting gear uh, that's sitting in front of me. And that's why I'm stuttering tonight because there's so much light tonight trying to get rid of shadows. Now with it, it does have, of course, uh, magnets that will hold this closed. So you don't have to worry about that. Just like that, it's closed, you're uh, good to go. This will allow you to have this up and running in under 30 seconds. The better part is, is it'll actually grab about 23% more efficiency in lower light settings than some of the others out there with that. This is actually quite light, quite portable and accessible for you. So if you need a solar panel, this of course is a great one. Now the 100 is fully compatible with the 240. Um, I believe it's going to be the 240, the 300, the 300 plus, the 500, the 1000, the 1000 plus, and the 1500 power stations. This will not work with, and let me repeat, this will not work with the 440. So just know that it's not going to work with the 440 or the larger power stations. Uh, this is meant for the smaller ones. Now, it's a good little piece right there. 
Now we're gonna move over to their largest solar panel and that's gonna be the 200 watt panel. Now if I jump over here, I actually have a little video of it in actual action. Now you guys are gonna see me pull it out of that case that we were just talking about. This one is compatible with the 1000, the one or the 1000 Pro, the 1500 Pro, 2000 Pro, 3000 Pro, and of course the 2000 Plus. Now this is gonna have, actually this one has a $140 clippable coupon if I remember right as well. This is a quad uh, quad panel trifold with tri legs. Uh, it does come with a nine and a half foot cable, uh, which is in the pocket. It comes with a 90 degree angle and of course a straight angle as well with that. So you have the two different uh, adapters on this one. Now with this, fully compatible with all the stations that you can need and use. Fully waterproof. It can be used in harsh and wet weather, including dust if you need to. Use a hose to wash it off and you're good to go. Uh, now, this is actually a really nice piece. Uh, the monocrystal and solar cells are going to collect about 24% uh, uh, efficiency, even in lower light settings. As you guys see right here, I'm connecting it up to the 3000 Plus or the 3000 Pro power station. Uh, right here, first time doing it. It took me a little longer. You're going to notice the actual charging rate on this one is going to be about 150 to 160 watts. And... Uh, and I'm going to say, it'll actually get you guys a lot more charge if you find the brightest part of your yard. My yard may look bright, but there is a tall building sitting in front of my yard. So that is kind of blocking some of the actual direct sunlight. So you're getting a lot of light, but not the direct sun at this point. Uh, right there, guys, see it's about 153 watts of power charging capability in there. Uh, the cable, of course, connects right onto the back, no problem. And, of course, you have the extenders. You can connect up multiple solar panels. This is a great one, $140 off with this. Very, very beautiful little solar panel. Uh, so if you guys need right there, the 200 Now, any questions before we go tonight? Um, do you have cameras? Not tonight on tonight's show, no. We don't, we're not doing cameras tonight. <laughs> I have many cameras around me, but I, no, we're not showing. Uh, any questions guys a lot of great deals a lot of great products uh, if you guys need check them out put them in of course your cart uh, if you want to hey why not and I'll always smash that follow button uh, what I will tell you guys is, is I believe I'm back here on the 17th and the 18th for back-to-back -back streams uh, so you guys have more streams coming up on the 17th and 18th uh, and then I think it's the 25th or something like that as well uh, Eli, hello, how are you doing? Um, definitely, uh, that will be a dragon, that will be a different stream. So this is actually a Jackery stream, guys. Uh, so with that, guys, I want to thank everybody for being here tonight. I enjoyed it. I had fun. I may have stumbled a few times, but it's been a long day. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night, and I'll see you guys on the next show. Later, everybody. Have a good one.